praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest from whom all blessings flow. Welcome to our Wednesday podcast, 15 minutes without data. If you're watching me on WhatsApp, once you have downloaded once and you just need only small megabytes to download this, highest four megabytes. Praise the Lord. Now, we started a series of teaching on, on our, from our Monday podcast and uh, we, we, which we titled A Better Way to Love. Now, I'm, I'm going to be building further on that because we just tried to establish the background for what we'll be saying. And then we, we, we took a, a text from Proverbs 27 verse 5, which says, open rebuke is better. Open rebuke is better than secret love. And, uh, and, and we use that one to understand the case between Jesus and the Sadducees and the Pharisees. And we read from Matthew 22, 23 to 40, in case you are just joining us today. Now hear what he said. The same day came to him the Sadducees, which say that there is no resurrection. Of course, that's a false doctrine. And they held on to that for, for years and asked him. They asked Jesus, saying, Master, Moses said, if a man die having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed unto him, to his brother. Now, a logic. Now, there were with all seven brethren, and the first, when he had married a wife, diseased, and having no issue, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also, and the third unto the seventh. And last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, if you people say, this is my own, if you people say there's a resurrection of the dead, therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall be, shall, whose wife shall she be, of the seven, meaning that there can never be resurrection for the, for the all had her. Now Jesus answered them and said unto them, You do err not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have you not read that which was spoken unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when the multitude heard, heard, so mean that Jesus made the teaching very loud and openly also. They were astonished at his doctrine. But when these Pharisees had heard, that he had put this, the Pharisees to silence by teaching the right message. They were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophet. Now, and in the last, in the last episode in our Monday podcast, I proved to us that these Pharisees, they were challenging the love life of Christ. They felt that Christ has not worked in love because it has silenced the Sadducees in the public. Of course, their teaching was made public and the correction must be made public. Did you get that? It must be made public. So, the question is love life. Thinking, probably you should have corrected them in the secret place. Now you ask me, Reverend Nuga, how did you know that? I said to us that if you read this New Testament and you didn't go to the Old Testament where Christ quoted it from, you will never get the whole message. You will not get the revelation behind this. And I said to you that Jesus quoted this passage from the book of Leviticus 1918. And in 1918, he said, Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That is what Jesus quoted from. So Jesus knew what was in their mind. And Jesus knew they were questioning his love life because he has rebuked the Sadducees in the public place. So the, the Pharisees came to avenge for their brother by asking him a question, questioning his love life. And Jesus Christ referred them back to their 
to the Old Testament, the scripture they were used to. And if you have read that just in the New Testament, you will never have gotten the whole message Christ was communicating. Christ knew that this whole thing was because he rebuked them publicly. And Jesus knew that open rebuke is better than a secret love. Hallelujah. So if you read Leviticus 19:18, and you didn't read it in context of night of 17, you will not get the message. In verse 17, he said, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy brother. Thou shalt in any wise, in any wise rebuke thy brother. In any wise rebuke thy brother. And not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So this message, this passage is dealing on the subject of rebuke, which is a better way to love. And when Jesus Christ love life was questioned in the public. He also referred them back to another passage, which when they refer to it, they will also see that already in the Old Testament, Old Testament has established that open rebuke. Not only is it just said in the book of Proverbs, open rebuke is better than a secret love. Now people will want you to love them in the secret, probably correct them in the secret. When they have correct, when they have made made a blunder in the open space, especially when it is a doctrinal error, it must also be corrected in the open place. Now, hear me: if you do not correct a, a, a doctrinal error that is made in the public, that is made on Facebook, that is made everywhere and taught everywhere, if you do not also correct it on Facebook and correct it everywhere, regardless of who is involved, here what is going to be the challenge to you now here in that same Leviticus 19 18 where Christ was quoting from he said thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against thy children the children of thy people but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thou said I am the Lord now I said to us you must quote verse 18 in context of verse 17 now in verse 17 is where the challenge is this is what Christ was avoiding Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy brother, thy neighbor, and not suffer sin upon him. And not suffer sin upon him. Now listen to me. If people commit open false doctrine, made error in the public place, and the people are involved, and the public is involved, it must be corrected in the open space. If you don't, if you don't, hear this if you don't i will not read from king james version i will read from new english translation so that you get it in you will get it very clear hear what he said he said you must not hate your brother in your heart you must surely you must surely reprove your fellow citizen so that you do not incur so that you do not incur sin on account of him Listen to this. Jesus did what he did in the public place. Because when the, devil, the Bible says when the devil came, he found no sin in him. Now, the devil may not run you into sin of adultery, sin of fornication, sin of murder. But you see, if people teach falsehood, falsely, in the public place, and they made it public to people to hear, and you kept quiet over it and you did not teach the right message back in the public place or if people commit mistake in the family like i shared in the last episode in the last podcast that a, a boy in the family look at a grandmother who is older than his mother and his father who has cooked for the house a house head and told and said to her face i don't want to eat what you cook so go and cook another food for me and the mother said no it won't happen in this house whatever she has cooked since you didn't tell her from the beginning whatever she has cooked for the whole family is what you also is going to eat and the boy was angry about that and went into his bedroom later on when the mother visited his bedroom he confronted the mother and said, Mom, do you love me? And the mother said, yes, I did. Of 
because the Bible says it is the child that a father loves that it chastises. But where we do it is also important because of us, because of what this passage said. Now, the mother said to her, to him, right there in the bedroom, that woman, oh, sorry, he has already told her, told him in the presence of the house help, who was older than her and the father, said, This woman is older than you, is older than me, is older than your father. He is helping us. So if you have not told her before now, and then she has cooked this for the family, then that is what all of us are going to eat. Another day, if you don't want it, let her know, and then she will not include you, and then she will have prepared what you want. You must also treat her like a grandmother. Now that looks like an open rebuke, but the Bible says it's better than secret love. The boy wanted a secret love. That was why he went to the bedroom and expected the mother to apologize to him and, 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 and give him a secret love. Of course, the mother eventually showed she loved him. But the Bible said no. That is, it's okay. What the mother did also was okay. Of, of course, in the open space and back in, a, in his bedroom. But hear this. What the mother avoided is what we are seeing in Leviticus 19.17. Now, what Jesus Christ avoided in Matthew 22 is what we also saw in that Leviticus 19.17. The Bible said, like I said, the devil came and he found no sin in Jesus. But you see, this could have introduced a sin into the life of Jesus. If Jesus had kept quiet and he did not rebuke the, the Sadducees in the same open place and put them to silence and put an end to their false doctrine by teaching the right one, Hallelujah. Now you hear this. It is if you if people are teaching false doctrine and you do not teach the right one, if they do it on Facebook, you also teach back on Facebook. If they teach it on TV and you have access to teach it to teach to TV, you also teach the right one. If they put up a right up and you know the right teaching, you also put up the right the right teaching. Listen to me. If you do not, if you do not. Hear what, what Leviticus 19.17 said. Because that's what Jesus quoted from in the book of Matthew 22. He knew his audience. He knew what they were accusing him of. And he got them straight. He got it straight for them. Referring them back to the passage that they are used to. Hear what he said. He said, you must not hate your brother in your heart. I will explain that in our Friday broadcast. You must surely reprove your fellow citizen. The same thing in our country. The government is wrong, some people are wrong, and Christians who have access to TV, who have access to, 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 to Facebook, social media, kept quiet over the first, the falsehood that is going on in the sick in the place. The Bible says if you he said you must surely reprove your fellow citizen. Not just your uh, neighbor now, your fellow citizen, so that you do not incur sin on account of him. In other words, if you do not preach the right message, God said you have incurred. You know what it means for somebody to incur a bill? You, 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 you told somebody to go and eat in an eatery, and he told them that whatever the person ate, at any time should be put in your account now if the person overspent money you have also incurred debt they won't go after that person they will go after you because you you gave your word so leviticus 19 says you must surely you must surely reprove your fellow citizens so that you do not so that you do not incur sin on account of him now, New Living Translation put it this way. It said, confront people directly. I like that. It said, confront people directly so that so you will not be held guilty for their sin. So, if people are teaching false teaching and then they put it up on Facebook, they put it up in their churches, they put it up everywhere and then you know God has given you the right teaching and you refuse to. The Bible says confront people directly. So you will not be guilty, you will not be held guilty for their 
sin now hallelujah that is the way leviticus put it there are other 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 passages what english bible put it this way you shall not hate your brother in your heart say you shall surely rebuke your neighbor and not be a sin because of him a lexican english bible put it this way you shall surely rebuke your fellow citizen so that you do not incur sin along with him along with him now Darby translation says thou shalt earnestly earnestly rebuke thy neighbor lest thou be a sin on account of him hallelujah on account of him so ladies and gentlemen is a better way to love when people put up falsehood in the nation put up falsehood in the church put up falsehood in the family and you did not correct them even right there where they committed it the bible says you have incurred and open you have incurred you, you have incurred sin on the account god bless you thank you for staying for 15 minutes with us i will i will see you again on our friday broke podcast when we'll be running up this place friday is very important you can't afford to miss it god bless you i will see you in our friday podcast